Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Sully's Models. And in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, weathering uh, propeller blades. Uh, so in this one, uh, we're going to be using two techniques. Um, we're going to be using quite a simple silver pencil uh, to do some of the scratch work uh, I'm going to do on the blades. And the other one is a new one uh, I haven't tried before, which is a uh, salt weathering uh, technique. So this will be probably a first for everybody if you're uh, if you're searching on how to use uh, salt to uh, weather, um, I've, I've been told it's quite simple. Uh, we'll find out. So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, so there we have our blades all uh, primed. I've used a bit of uh, a light grey colour to um, give sort of like a bit of a bit of depth and a bit of texture to it. Um, already pre done uh, blade tips. These sort of things you want to do first. It's a lot easier to paint uh, a light colour um, first and then a dark colour rather than the other way around because sometimes you might struggle um, and you probably end up flooding it and you know you'll probably get some raised you know lines where you, your blade ends are. So you don't want that. So it's best to do it this way around first, and then all we'll do is with some tape just mask off uh, the end tips. Hopefully we're getting to get them in the right positions. Oh, a bit of guesswork and hopefully the straight as well. And the same on the back. I do sometimes use the same one and wrap it round. There we go. So we'll do that all the way around and then uh, we'll paint our black. There we go, all uh, done there. And we'll get a bit of black in the brush. Come on, there we go. And just give it a lot, couple of light layers. We can still see some of this uh, speckling underneath. Not to get rid of that yellow. Uh, we've clogged up. Oh, let's clear that and we'll carry on. There we go, that's better. Well, I'll start again. Um, so, yes, just a light dusting. So we can still see some of the speckling I said before. Something a little like that. There we go. One nicely done propeller there. And uh, so, uh, yeah, once we've done that, we'll uh, we'll move on to a little bit of uh, weathering, I think. Oh, no, we won't. We'll put the decals on first, then we'll do the weathering. Uh, <laughs> always remember to do that. I do forget that. I get excited with uh, doing my weathering, miss my decals. So we'll put the decals on next, and then we will do some weathering. Okay, so next after we've glossed uh, the blades, we're using some micro set solution. And we'll plonk, plonk that on the areas that we need it. Starting off with some of the information stencils that come on the lower part of the blade. Get enough of that on. I'll just get my, I'll set my decals and solution. I will then plonk them on a bit of tea towel. Take away some of the excess water that's on there because you don't want to shed loads of the stuff on there. Take that off. And carefully put that where it needs to go. 
go. There's two good things about using the gloss, because I've just done that, so proves a good point. So I can focus there. Yeah, there we go. I'm very gently using this blade. That means I can move this back into the right position. Also, it should, with a bit of luck, come on, with a bit of luck, it will uh, afterwards will. Uh, Hopefully hide the backing of the decal so it shouldn't look too much obvious at the fact that it is a decal. That's the plan anyway. It usually does work out by the time you've uh, put a matte varnish on. You know, you, you do tend to lose it. So it, it does work better. You don't have to uh, put a gloss solution down first, but uh, I would advise it, to be honest with you. It uh, makes life a hell of a lot easier when doing this. I'm hoping I've got these all in the right position. You know, the fact that they all look, look the same. There we go. Nice and easy. And afterwards, Done all that. Then with the dry detail, just give it a bit of a press, take away all that excess. As well, we're pushing down it hard, it should push out any liquids that are underneath. And there we go. slight top tip <laughs> through my own stupidity um, make sure when you're putting your decals on that you're putting them on the right side now I didn't, <laughs> didn't go until I went to fit this on double check out I didn't need to do anything else but I actually realized that I put the, the uh, decals on the wrong side fortunately the decal set I've got has um, propeller decals on it as you can see it is different but in a fashion in a what well I say fashion in a way I'm, I don't mind too much because actually this will give um, some you know difference in it um, you know like we've had a, you know a new propeller puts in a new chain so it does add a little something some a little difference but at the same time very annoying so, uh, yeah, just, just double check before um, you start putting stuff on, particularly with propellers, that they're actually facing the right way. Because um, the way I'd put this on my skewer to paint was with the locating pin at the front instead of the back. So, yeah, bit of a prat. Um, but, you know, I most of, what I did most to save was the... Um, uh, Propeller Company decals, which I forgot, where are they? who are they? Uh, I forgot, I can't read it on these. My well, so it's not that good. Hamilton's, I, I knew that as well, Hamilton, sorry. Um, Hamilton Blade, so it kind of looks like we've had uh, a prop change there. So what I might do is when it comes to weathering, I might actually do that one. Uh, maybe slightly less heavier than the others, possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll have a look when we get to that bit. Um, but yeah, there's going to be possibly a bit of touch up on the back, as you can see, where the decals are deezed at the back there. So, but there you go. Mistakes are made. Uh, fortunately, um, we're quite easily corrected, um, apart from the fact that I did lose the one trying to uh, correct this. But there you go. It says mistakes happen. So, you know, just be careful. Um, you know, and, and just double check yourself 
um, before moving on. Uh, but there we go. Uh, so now to a, a matte varnish and then uh, some weathering we can begin. Right, so what I'm doing now is um, I'm going to try a bit of a new technique to me. Um, I've not done this one before, but I've seen it done with some great effects. I might be going to pull uh, the same effect off. Uh, so what I'm doing is this salt technique. So what I've done is I've um, I wet the blades, sprinkled uh, some sea salt on because you get different uh, variations of, uh, of granule uh, on there. Um, so you get some big and some small clumps, uh, as you can see. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a light uh, misting uh, of possibly like a light grey uh, colour, maybe maybe white, probably a light grey I think will probably work quite well with this. Um, and then afterwards I will uh, dust all this off and it will give us a bit of a sort of mottled, speckly uh, type look. You can see on this, uh, the bottom blade there on the left, um, I've done this a little bit lighter um, because of my food power with uh, my decals earlier on. Uh, I've decided that um, we'll have this as kind of like uh, a new blade. Something happens to the old one, uh, so a new one had to be put on because obviously we've got the slight differentiation in the um, uh, sort of uh, blade information there. Uh, so I'm going to do that one at a slightly lighter weathering, um, I think. Uh, compared uh, to the others. So what I can do now is I'll go off, I'll spray it, and then I'll come back and show you what we're gonna do with it next. There you go, you might just about to see there's a slight misting over that. So what we'll do now is we'll get a dry brush. Drop the dry brush first. Salt off. Maybe with a wet one wet brush, I think. These are some of this. It'll be a bit easier. It's coming. There we go. I did do the other side. I did this a little bit lighter. The salt. Oh, not the camera as well. Let's see how it's going off tonight. Okay. There we go. You can see the, uh, the effect there. Not too bad. I'm not quite happy with that. Actually, this is the first time I've tried it. It's a bit of a risk. I quite like that. I've seen other people do this. Obviously, most people have done this. It's not a new, new thing, as I said. Um, and some other people have actually done a few other uh, layers. Let's see if we get this all in. Actually, probably comes up, but you can see it a little bit better with the water on. And there we go. I'm happy with that. I think, and it's quite a that was quite a good risk. I think. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think what we'll do next is. Uh, We'll put a few scratches on and uh, we'll go from that, I think. Okay, so uh, Next, I'm going to be uh, doing some scratch marks, and I'll be using uh, a silver pencil. Um, and it's really easy. Just uh, what I'm going to do is concentrate on sort of uh, sort of like blade edges, because uh, that's where you tend to get a lot of the uh, wear, and put an odd couple of scratches in. Uh, you know, because sometimes. You know, doing work on the aircraft, you know, stuff, you know, gets chipped and, you know, scratched. So, um, but the one, as I say, is uh, this one, because since we cocked up the decal, well, I cocked up the decal, so we, um, this will have probably the lighter 
amount of uh, scratch work on it. Uh, so yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get into that and uh, see what we come up with. So there you go, uh, that's all done I think, uh, I don't think I can do uh, much more than that, I don't want to over, overdo it, because uh, obviously sometimes overdoing it you know, it's going to look a bit uh, rubbish, uh, but yeah so I'm, I'm pretty tough with that, I think all that's left to do now is a matte varnish and uh, the blades are all done. So there you go guys, um, nice and easy uh, and pretty simple technique. Um, I hope it helps you guys um, you know, with this type of technique, it's the first time I've done it before. Um, but yeah, no, it works out pretty well, so uh, yeah, pretty good job I think. Uh, so yeah, um, again, thanks very much guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, uh, with us as also on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, so yeah. Thanks again, guys. Um, happy modeling, and I'll see you again soon.